Speak. I am here. So, you were the mortal. There were whispers that Bizarrain had welcomed one of you amongst us. But to pick the siege breaker, I am awed. I, I forget myself. Bizarrain has made his wishes clear, and we must do as he asks. Are you ready to begin? I am Tybri. I have only two centuries to my name. I was asked to join the house because of my abilities. I can hear them, the sorrows in people, the essence of decay and ruin that precedes winter. I can even hear the sorrows faintly in you. Few Delvers are left who can hear any sorrows at all, but never have any claim to hear them as much as I. Many believe me to be a liar or an abomination. The Midden was once a sacred place for the House of Sorrows, for all winter fae where the bodies of the dead were left to decompose. Our bodies do not rot as mortal corpses do. So when Saturn and placed the bodies of mortals here, they putrefied, corrupting the Midden. Scavengers and beasts now roam the Midden, and the body we seek is deep within. I must have someone to watch my back. Farewell.
and they sleep beneath the limbs, while we sing these morning hymns as the dead embrace the land in the earth's embalming hand. for our heads. That fay is clamoring for our heads. Please, defend us. With all of this. <sighs> that fay is a monster, and no one here can stop him. Stone standing tall by the sorrow's weary hall. Are the leaves now bearing fruit? Will the dead now follow suit? is here. I must begin my work. But the magic is sure to draw the wild fay in the area. Hold them back while I commune with the sorrows. Farewell.
Yes, it is done. Cadoroc's sorrows left a strong impression on the corpse. He is hiding in the Siren Crypt in the Drowned Forest. You should go there, but be wary. The impression Cadoroc left on the body was... conflicted. Something is not right here. I will return to the house. With the beast beaten back, it should prove safe enough now. The dead do not speak lies. Cadoroc has gone to Siren Crypt in the Drowned Forest. It was once a mighty fortress, but like all things in this war, it was reduced to ruin. Lesser, cruder beasts and beings walk its halls now. For Cadoroc to hide there, it makes little sense. But from what the sorrows told me, it seems as though he had nowhere else to go. They, we, are the backbone of the house. Delvers can look into the essence of Winterfey, find the sorrows within, and take upon that burden. The Weeping King was the first to perform this function. The Delvers witnessed his powers, and imitated as they could. Only now, no Delver has this art, save for me. It is the emblem of the house. It is the heart of the Midden. It is said it has always been here, even during the times of the Weeping King. To be a member of the House is a great honour. Without the House of Sorrows, there would be no Court of Winter, no culture in these lands, only winter. He is the Faith Log Tucked, the Choking Vine. He reaches from Briar's Dark and Unknown to strangle the life from us. Before there was a Court of Winter, before there was a House of Sorrows, there was the Midden, a place where Winter Fae would come to die. The bodies left to rot here mark the covenant of the house. Though the Winterfey may stave off decay to create its courts and culture, they cannot escape it forever. Greetings, Siegebreaker. Although there is much that must be done, I have time to talk. Farewell. Are the Alfar nature's meat, food the ravens meant to eat? Why do soldiers hang like tears? Why to Uther covet fears?
Hanging, hanging gallows tree, spreading baleful tyranny, ruined terror of the war, hallowed ground for never more. For our heads. Please, that Fay is a monster, and no one here can. <laughs> and so another mortal approaches, even as this one's blood has yet to dry. But my desire to extinguish mortal life has yet to be satiated. Come, you seem a warrior. Why not fight me? Excellent. I hope you provide more of a challenge than this pathetic wretch did. Enough of this farce. I have fought more than enough mortals on your terms, on your ground. Let us see if you are as powerful in my domain. We will finish this fight in my hollow, Tyne Hill. The magics of the Midden run strong in that place. I will be unbeatable! You... you did it! What no one else has done. You actually bested that monster. I... It is much to ask, but none in our camp have been able to stand against him. You must answer his challenge. Fight him again. Kill him. For the sake of our mission. We don't know. He's not to Arthur, but he damn near fights like one. He's been coming here dueling us one by one. There's some sick point he means to prove by gutting us, and those he doesn't kill outright are dragged back into the midden with him. Please, we're scouts, not seasoned fighters. We can't complete our mission if this headsman continues picking us off. Thank the gods. If he called you to Tynehill, then that means you'll have to fight him there. But be warned, this Fey uses magics we haven't seen before. It's like he's feeding on the energies of this place. Or worse, there are those that fall to the headsmen, but then there are others. Prisoners. What he does with them in Tyne Hill, no one knows. He's in Tyne Hill. It's a hollow, somewhere in the midden, I think. But he's only been coming here recently. I cannot tell for certain. We weren't very many, but we were sent by the Alpha Command, ostensibly to make sure the Tuatha didn't have any positions out here. But there was another purpose. We were to try and find a way to give the bodies of our men a proper burial. Suppose I'm the only one that still holds rank around here anymore. My brother, Gilman, was leading us, but... but... I hate that damn thing. The Tuatha are using it to lord our own dead over us. I aim to do something about it. He's a Winter Fay. We do not know his name. He comes and butchers one of us, and makes the rest watch. Calls it justice. We don't know why. He just picks one of us, gives them a blade, and cuts them down. Alpha or human, fighter or no. Find the headsman. Bring him to justice. You're back! Wait a moment. You are not part of the army, are you? What are you doing here? 
No matter. We are injured here and need someone fit enough to venture into the Midden to recover some important reconnaissance. Somewhere in this mess of bodies is the corpse of my former scout, Venus. He was carrying the information when the two Arthur caught him. All I know is that it is somewhere in the Midden, along with thousands of other corpses. But Venris was an unusual scout, and that might help us track him. You see, Venris bonded strongly with a wolf when we first arrived here. The wolf still lives, and I have no doubt he can find his master's body. Follow him. Even if you knew what Venris looked like, it would not make finding him amongst all these bodies any easier. The wolf knows Venris' scent. He can track it through the midden and lead you directly to the body. Very well. I'll release the wolf now. Follow him and make sure nothing happens to him before he finds Venris. Without him, we have no means of singling Venris's body out from all of the others. Please, hurry! Thank the gods you were able to recover the reconnaissance the Venris carried. This information would have proved disastrous in the wrong hands. When the Tuatha tossed Venris in here, I feared all might have been lost. But thanks to you and his wolf, the armies will not suffer the same fate as Venris. Take this. It is not much. But it is what we can offer, along with our thanks. We have a special assignment, to undo the damage to morale here, and to give these bodies a proper burial. The thing is not cursed, but it is eerie seeing it looming over us the way it does. I cannot wait to get out from under its shadow. This place is foul. The Fae act as though it was once a place of great significance, but all this death... Is this truly what they marvel? Thank you for recovering this information. It is not much, but we need to make sure we stay away from the Tuatha's movements. All information helps. 
nearly got gutted trying to scout out the Tuatha after you carried the day in Melsen Shear. So Command sent me here for an easy job. It is clear they never stepped foot in this place. Be careful, or you will end up like me, or worse. Farewell. Praise be to Matharu, and may his blessing be upon you for visiting this humble camp. I am Krieger, a humble cleric of Mitharu. I have accompanied these noble Alpha in peace, and I would make use of you in my mission if you are willing. The world needs to know how many of Mitharu's children gave their lives to fighting these heathen Tuatha. You will find an earring upon each soldier who has been slain. Bring the earrings to me, and I will be able to tally the dead. I'm glad to have your help. The soldiers, their bodies are strewn throughout the midden. Every one has made the ultimate sacrifice in service. Collect the earrings from them, and I will give you what I can. Thank you for this, Wanderer. The world must know. Very well. Let me pay you for your services. If you find you have time to look for more, I can always make use of your assistance. Mitharo thanks you. Truly, the army is stressing at the seams, but they have enough decency to try and give these poor souls a burial right. How noble of them. A grotesque monument. That the Fey worship trees is barbarous enough, but does this house of sorrows find it so saintly to treat bodies so? I'm a humble servant of Mitharu. My abbot asked me to refrain from coming here, but I knew someone had to bring faith to those who suffer. I thought to count the dead, so the history might know the enormity of the bloodshed. But even that has escaped me. A horrid place. This is the holy ground of these winter fey? This is the form their worship takes? This is nothing but a celebration of death and dismemberment. Mitharu, take me, but the Alpha should not stop at just the Tuatha, it seems. On the corpses of our unfortunate brethren, you can find these bodies strewn throughout the Midden. Go with the gods. dead. Nothing but another corpse, just like me. Another body for the feast. She's here, you know. Death. I've seen her. She's like a big fat crow come to eat my eyes. Please, don't let her eat my eyes. I don't want to die. Oh, she's a great dark crow with a thousand needle beaks. She's going to take me, you know, I've seen it. We're all beggars, dead already and begging for the end. Beggars bent like hags, bent beneath a bloody fate. But you, you're no beggar, no beggar at all. You're the scarecrow, aren't you? Shoo, death, shoo! I can see it, all around you. You're not like us, you're not like anyone. You're not afraid of death, are you? I am. I dream of her. 
She takes me beneath the tower and she... She does things. Horrible things. Don't let her take me there, please. Don't let her open me up. I don't want to see what's inside. That's where she keeps her nest. We go beneath the tower, but we don't come out again. Don't go there. It's dangerous. Don't go. You won't come back. A fool twice cursed. Once to fall in battle, nearly killed. Cursed again to keep on living in this wretched place, this nest of death and darkness. A whole city of crows, fat from feasting. Once I thought they were monsters, always rising. I didn't know then. I didn't understand where the real monsters live. Don't leave me! Head surgeon here in Melsenshire. Do you require healing? As head surgeon, I support the soldiers of the Alpha armies as best I can. Despite the recent and dramatic improvements in healing magic, few that make their way to my table survive. As great as our power may be, the power of the Tuatha is all the more destructive. Her services are adequate. I'll admit, her only fault lies in caring too much for her patients. A beautiful city, is it not? When the siege began, I came here straight away from studying with the Scolia Arcana in Rathir. The opportunity to observe the effects of violence firsthand and to help, of course, was too much to ignore. Ah, oh, to be able to study their physiology. Impossible, of course, given how their bodies return to nature upon their death. Master Hawkins is not well, I'm afraid. The injuries he sustained have broken both his body and his spirit. Do, do not trust anything he tells you. I can assure you that his mind is racked with a deep dementia. Farewell. Well met. It is the hero of Melson Shear. Care to take a look at my wares? Another time, then.
the prattling of a madman alone, could you? This is my sanctum trespasser. You couldn't possibly understand the work I'm doing here. I fear I will need to kill you now. Perhaps the process will provide some insights into your unique power. Don't you see? The physiology of the mortal races is a book we've barely begun to crack. You couldn't possibly understand. I take these young men and women and I open them and I see what truly lives within. Magic is changing and so are those who wield it. I am merely bold enough to look and learn the how and why. How unsurprisingly noble of you. Few possess the intellectual acuity to appreciate my work. Very well. Perhaps I will learn something from your death. Ooh, this will be easy! <laughs>
She's dead, isn't she? The moment she passed, the clouds surrounding my mind seemed to pass. What a wretched woman. Who knows how long she's been here, preying on the weak and injured. Seems I named you well, Scarecrow. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. I do not think that I can return to the Chandlery after what I've seen. Where does one go after they've seen the horror of war? A kind soul. She hasn't left the hospital since the siege. I don't think she even sleeps. I wish I had never come to this cursed city. I survived the horror of battle only to find the horrors of the hospital. I am Megan, nurse to the wounded soldiers of the Alpha. How can I help you? Stay safe.
What is it? I have felt the energies of Mithra fade to Ashara, mortal. I am glad that this business is concluded. At least the Midden will not be in danger of corruption any more than it already is. I thank you for your part in keeping it so. As payment, take this bauble. I discovered it on a body on one of your kind. May it be useful to you in your travels. We keep the Midden as a monument to the debt we Winter Fay have made with nature. But now the Midden is defiled, and we can do our task no longer. Yes, yes.
It was a time of change. The cycles of the seasons turned as ever, but inside the bones of the earth, there lurked a cold. It was not the cold of winter. Beside the houses of sorrows, pride and vengeance, a new turmoil fomented, a magic hitherto unseen. I have waited for you, mortal. It is not the nature of my kind to anticipate. And yet here I am, with these emotions thrust upon me. I have only just awoken in this plane, and yet I find change, chaos running rampant. Who are these Tuatha? What has happened to our midden? The Winter Realm is racked by war. My people's magic in decline, and mortals scurry over my homeland. A travesty that I must write one mortal at a time. There is an order to all things. Summer to winter, growth to rot. So it was when I last walked these lands. What has happened while I slept is an affront to nature. The Fey declining while you mortals wage open war with them? <laughs> Impossible. The Winter Court is sundered. If these Tuatha care not for the natural order, then I shall restore it. Come deeper into Tyne Hill and witness the strength of winter. Thank you. 
And so you arrive. That you made it all the way to this chamber unscathed is just another reason why you must be killed. Or perhaps I won't kill you outright. The strongest I keep on the edge of life. To use their energies to sustain this place. To rebalance the scales. The world has changed, mortal. You have heard it said before. I am certain. But you can never sense it as I can. The long winter was birthed by my fallen kind, and though it may one day be reversed, it will never be undone. The cycle has already begun its fracture. I only hope there will be a time for healing, and that when I rise again, I shall be reborn to it. Goodbye, mortal. Ugh.
Hello once more, Wanderer. Have you had any luck in recovering earrings from the bodies of our soldiers? Very well. Let me pay you for your services. If you find you have time to look for more, I can always make use of your assistance. Mitharo thanks you. Go with the gods. It is over then. The headsmen will bother our encampment no more. I... I hate this place. That it might drive a soul to think butchering us was some kind of justice. And what he did to those prisoners. But it's over now. We don't have much to offer. Or rather, much to spare. But please, accept whatever reward we can give you. Many thanks, stranger. Clurican has its dark places, but the Midden, it's hard to even stand here. I don't know how you make it look so easy. But we've been sent here for a reason, and we'll stay until we see it through. Goodbye.